वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 6.18 सो स्टेटमेंट इज दैट अ टिम्बर बीम ए बी ऑफ लेंथ एल इन रेक्टेंगुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन कैरीज अ सिंगल कंसेंट्रेटेड लोड पी एट पॉइंट सी शो दैट द रेशो ऑफ मैक्सिमम शेयर स्ट्रेस ओवर मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस ऑफ मैक्सिमम वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू एच ओवर टू एल वेयर एच इज हाइट एंड एल इज द डेप लेंथ ऑफ द बीम and in part b determine the depth h and width of the beam knowing that l is 2 meter p is 40 kN tm is tau m maximum shearing stress is 90 kPa and maximum bending stress is 12 MPa so you can see this is a timber beam ab that is rectangular cross section having width b and height or depth is h and there is a concentrated load single concentrated load at point c the total length of this beam is length l so you have to find the this ratio which is this one and in part b you have to find this h and b if l is 2 meter p is 40 kN and all these values so first uh, we will know that uh, first step will be if you remove this re uh, supports at the end so there will be a reaction force r a and there will be a reaction force at r b so we will find by using equation of equilibrium so equation of equilibrium so what equation of equilibrium we will be using in here is first is sum of all moment about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so from here you can see that moment about point a is one moment is p into perpendicular distance is l by 2 and it is producing clockwise so it will be negative so minus p into perpendicular distance l by 2 the other moment is due to this force p r b and perpendicular distance is l and it is producing counter clockwise so it will be positive so plus r b into l is equal to 0 so from here when you calculate it you will get rb will be equal to p by 2 now you have rb is equal to p by 2 so you can find ra by using this equilibrium condition sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 so three forces ra plus rb minus p is equal to 0 so ra plus r b which is p by 2 minus p is equal to 0 so from here you will get r a will be equal to p by 2 now you have both these forces reaction forces r a is equal to p by 2 and r b is also p by 2 so we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so i will draw vertical lines from the end clear similarly here i will draw the vertical lines from the end and along the horizontal line we will have the length x will show the length now at r a we have uh at r a we have a load of p by 2 so let this is p by 2 so at this point now moving from a to till l by 2 there is no other force so it will remain horizontal so till this point it will be horizontal now at point c we have a load of p so p by 2 minus p will give you minus p by 2 so it will change to minus p by 2 and minus p by 2 is this one so shear force will change from p to minus p by 2 and again you can see there is no other load so it will remain horizontal so i will draw this horizontal line and at point this b you have p by 2 which will bring it to 0 so this is p by 2 and this is minus p by 2 now by using this shear force we will draw the bending moment so you can see this area is rectangular so this area is equal to p by 2 multiply by l by 2 so this will give you pl pl over 4 so i will write this area is p by 2 multiply by l by 2 so it will be pl over 4 so let this point is uh, pl over 
p l over 4 so at this point you will have p l over 4 and since this shear force is a horizontal 0 degree line clear so bending moment will be 1 degree higher and slope will be increasing so your bending moment will be like this one and again this area is again minus p l over 4 so p l over 4 minus p l over 4 will bring it to 0 and we will get the bending moment like this now we have the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram so uh, again from here you can calculate the maximum shear force from bending moment diagram is p by 2 here i will write p by 2 and the area of this rectangular cross section which is you can see over here this is b this is b and this is h so this area is equal to b into h i will write for rectangular section okay now third we know that maximum sharing stress for rectangular beam is given by formula 3 over 2 v max over area so v max we know which is p by 2 so i will write the value uh, 3 over 2 into p by 2 divided by area which is b into h so when you calculate it you will get maximum sharing stress is equal to 3p over 4p h and again this is for rectangular cross section you have to use this formula for rectangular section now fourth one from this bending moment diagram we know that maximum bending moment is p l over 4 this one clear so we will write p l over 4 and also uh, we know that section modulus for the rectangular beam formula for section modulus for rectangular beam is 1 over 6 b h square this is for rectangular uh, okay so maximum uh, bending stress will equal to maximum bending moment over section modulus so you can put the value maximum bending moment is p l over 4 multiplied by section modulus is 1 over 6 b h square okay so when you solve this you will get maximum let this is number 6 so maximum stress comes out to be 6 over 4 p l over b h square and if you further simplify it it will be equal to 3 over 2 p l over b h square now we have been asked to find the ratio of uh, uh, maximum shear stress over the maximum bending moment clear so you can see equation 3 and equation number six are related to this so what we have we will write divide equation three by equation six so what we will get we will get tm over maximum stress tm is again 3p over 4bh divided by maximum bending stress is 3 over 2pl over b h so you have to do it now so we will get t m over sigma m will be equal to h over 2 l okay so you can see p p will cut 3 3 will cut b b b h b h will be cut it with this so we will only left with uh, not h this is b h square okay so one h is there okay so tm is equal to this 4bh not this is square this is this is not square oh sorry this is not square this is square 
so we will left only i will show you we left only 1 over 4 divide by l over 2h so again this will be equal to 1 over 4 multiply by 2h over l so 2 will cut with this 2 1 2 2 so we will left h over 2 l so this hence we proved this that tm over sigma max is equal to h over 2 l so this is the answer of our first part now we will move towards second part so in second part in part b we have been asked to find h and b for the given data i will take the given data from here let choose this all these things we'll copy that uh, copy and we will paste it over here so that you can get easily so this is the data okay so now h we know that uh, what we have written in equation number three is tm from equation three from equation number uh, not equation number three from this equation from this equation a tm over sigma m is equal to h over 2l so from here you will get h is equal to tau m into 2l divided by sigma m so you have the values okay so tm is 960 kilopascal so 960 into 10 to the power 3 into 2 multiplied by length is 2 meter divided by sigma maximum which is 12 megapascal so 12 into 10 to the power 6 so when you solve this you will get height or depth of beam is 320 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter or h will be equal to 320 millimeter Now what about B? So for B we know that uh, from equation number 3 I will show you from equation number 3. This is equation number 3. This is 3P divided by 4BH. From equation number 3 we know that tau M is equal to 3P over 4BH. So from here you will get B is equal to 3 into P divided by 4H into tau M. So you can just put the value 3. P is also given 40 kilo Newton. So 40 into 10 to power 3 divided by 4 multiply by H which is 320 millimeter. So 320 into 10 to power minus 3 into uh, Ta m. Ta m is 960 kilopascal. So 916 to 10 to the power 3. So again, when you solve this, you will get B will be equal to 97.7 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter or B is equal to 97.7 millimeter. So this is the breadth or width of the beam while this is the height so this if this is the rectangular cross section so this is equal to 97.7 millimeter which is b and this is the height or depth of the beam that is h and that is 320 millimeter so this was all about our problem 6.18 i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then i will request them to subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching